hello again, my T and Tarot family. And this is going to be a message for my fire signs. Sag, Aries, and Leo. What's coming in in your love life for the month of September? What do my fire signs need to know right now? This is a general read, guys. So it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does be what doesn't. Energy is fluid, so feel free to flip it, switch it, put yourself where you fit up in it. Okay, any pronoun that I use, he, she, her, him, speaking of masculine or feminine energy, unless otherwise stated. And guys, please remember, you can be male or female and have both. You're one or the other, okay? Men can be feminine, women can be masculine. It's all energy. If it resonates, take what resonates and put it in your story. If it doesn't, do not force it to fit, okay? One final shuffle. We're going to see what's going on for my fire signs and their love life coming in for the month of September. What do they need to know? And we do need it to jump spirit. What do my fire signs need to know for their greatest and highest good at this time? Okay, so we got some lovers coming in here. There's some love here. Somebody in love. Tell me more spirit. Okay, and I feel like you're on the path. Either you're on the pathway to a new love. Are you on the path with your lover here? But things are transforming here. Tell me more for my fire signs. What's coming in for my fire signs? Thank you, spirit. Okay, there could have been an ending here to something. Tell me more. You could have ended something and followed your own path. You could have ended something with a... a okay. For some of you guys... You're headed towards your path for a new lover after coming out of something that you ended, okay? And you were expecting something you didn't get what you expected here. For others of you guys, you are ending a relationship with a lover and going on your new path, transforming your new life because you didn't get what you expected. Tell me more about this lover spirit for my fire signs. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, this could be a lover coming in in the distant horizon. You could, like I said, you could have walked away from something that you ended here because this person didn't even either live up to your expectations. They could have been playing games. They could have been in and out. And you're following your path here. Tell me more. Ha! To your lover. The lover's twice, right? You ended something because somebody was community property. They was possibly in third-party situations or put you in a third-party situation here. Tell me about the expectation here. Yeah. This could have been your official person. Or you thought this was your official person here. This could have been somebody that you had been with for a while, guys. And you had to end this because you found out they were out in the community doing things with other people. They could have even had some community babies out here, okay? Tell me more about the lovers in the horizon. That's too many. Give me one for the lovers in the distant horizons. Thank you. Yeah, this person, you found out that your official person was a false person. And this information came to you unexpected. You were not expecting this information. Came out the blue. And since you walked away and you ended it now, I feel like you've been focusing on your money here. And now you're going to have this other new lover come in as you're on this new path. And you're not going to be expecting this person. You're coming out of nowhere. You're not going to be expecting it. But it's because you did the work. It's because you ended this and you, you're healing. Tell me about this coffin and community here, spirit. Yeah, so you're coming out as a mature man or, or you're finding out that somebody was a mature man. Excuse me. You're not finding out that it's a mature man. <laughs> Let me tell you what I'm hearing. You could have found out if you're a guy... Because this is what I'm hearing. If you're a guy, a fire sign guy, you could have found out that your baby's mother had sex with several other people. But the older guy she was dealing with is the baby's father, okay? For some of you guys, you're leaving your official person. You're ending this situation here, and you're going to come into a mature man. This does not mean this person is old, okay? This just means this is somebody who, who's mature for their age, okay? Um, and you're not expecting this to come in. This person's going to want to put in the work here. You're going to want to put in the work. You could have found out this information at nighttime about the false person.
My last shuffle spirit. Okay, I'm not trying to throw nobody under the bus, guys. <laughs> For real, never that. But if you're a guy and you're dealing with a woman, your woman could really have had somebody in the background. It's two questions. I just keep seeing it keep popping out. And I wasn't going to say nothing, but it keep, they're, they're making me see it. So, if you're a woman, it could be the other way around. Your guy could have had three other females and they fathered the baby with somebody. And they have somebody in the background. Okay, just, just flip it, but I had to put it out there, guys. Okay, clarify the lovers for me, spirit, for my fire signs. Aquarius, Sag, and Leo. I'm not Aquarius, Aries, Sag, and Leo. Okay, so, yeah, you, you, you're you taking this leap of faith now towards this new beginning after walking away from something that you ended. Yep, towards your wish fulfillment. You're on the right path here. Okay, so whoever this new person is, um, if they haven't came in yet, this is going to be your person. Take the leap of faith. This person is going to lead you towards wish fulfillment. If you recently just met this person, this is somebody that you can invest in here. Yeah. This is going to be somebody that wants to hold on to you. Tell me about the expectation spirit. Yeah, and they're going to come in with romantic offers. This romantic gesture here. They could come in expressing their love. Telling you how they feel here. But this is coming after you walked away and ended something with somebody who was a false person here. Yeah, this person's gonna come in and offer you this new brand new cup of love. They're gonna <laughs> it's coming in the distant horizons, guys. Tell me about this distant horizon spirit. Tell me about the distant horizon. Thank you. Yeah, this is after you walked away and left somebody out in the cold. This is after you healed. So if you haven't walked away from this person that was lying, sneaky, and deceptive yet, you're gonna walk away from this person. Once you heal from that, this is when this new person is going to come in for you guys. Okay, this new lover. Tell me about the lover spirit. If you already walked away and healed, then this person is coming in very quickly for you. Yep, and I'm, spirit says I'm telling you the truth, okay? You cut out a lover to get a new lover. Know that, okay? You cut out somebody who was lying, sneaky, and deceptive to get your wish fulfillment. You're going to get somebody who's honest and trustworthy here. Tell me about the community. They're not going to be no community person either. They're not going to be all out here passing around to everybody. Yep. Told you, you cut this shit down. The tower came down when you found out that this false person, that either this kid wasn't yours, they were sleeping around with several people, but that's what the tower moment was. That was the big ass change here. But this was your person. You thought this was your official person. You thought this was your person. Could have been your husband. Wife. Yeah, this was somebody that you invested in. You thought you made the right choice. And you didn't. You found out that this person was false here. Are you going to find out this person is false? When you find out, heal and know that you got something better coming in. Tell me about this false person spirit. Right. You were in a relationship with this person. You could have been married to this person. You're closing out this cycle now because this person was lying, sneaky, deceptive. You could have had somebody on the side for sure. Babies and shit, you find out that his is not theirs. They're finding out, even if it's not the kids, are not theirs. They're finding out, look, and the lover's at the bottom of the deck. The lovers three times. Lovers, lovers, and the lovers here. This is what's unexpected coming in. This new lover. This soulmate. Because you're getting away from this person that did not treat you right. They took you for granted. They played with your emotions, okay? They cheated. They had children outside of you, you guys' relationship. They they didn't have children. They had other women, other men. They were not faithful. It was a lot of lying, sneaky, deceptive energy in that. And, and because you walked away or you're in the process of walking away, once you heal and you get through this, you have a brand new beginning coming. Tell me about the mature man. Tell me about the mature man. Thank you, spirit. Yep, six of cups. This could be your soulmate or this could be somebody that's coming back from the past to reconcile here with you. Doesn't it necessarily even have to be somebody that you were already in a relationship with? This could be somebody you met in passing. This could be a friend. This could be actually a soulmate from another lifetime. But they're coming in as this new love here. Because you deserve this. You put the work in. Okay, you did it. Tell me about the toil and labor spirit. Toil and labor. Clarify toil and labor for me. Thank you. Yeah. Luck is on your side now because you did not accept this bullshit ass offer from your person. Just because you were married or just because you had kids with this person. You did not stay. You you, you you knew who you were. huh? You went and put the work on your, on yourself, okay? You could be focusing on your finances right now as well, um, fire signs. But you're working on you. 
You threw your guard up and you found your power. You remember who you were when you walked away. You listened to your intuition and you've been loving on you. Now you're single and you're stable. And because of that, this is why this Knight of Pentacles is coming in for you. When this Knight of Pentacles comes in, this is a slow, this has been slow and a, a, a while coming in for you guys. But it's here right now. Spirit says take this leap of faith. This, this is going to bring you wish fulfillment. It's going to bring you happiness. Hmm. Sit back and watch. It's going to come in for you. Okay, fire sign. So this is this is what I have for you coming in for the month of September. Everybody's at different parts of the timeline, depending on where you are. You could be just ending shit and, and doing the healing. You could already be in the middle of the healing. You could be healed, and this person is going to come in. You know where you are. If this resonated with you guys, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget, forget to click the little thumbs up. And also, if you like the way I read, hit the subscription button. Click the little bell so you know when my readings come out and when I go live. Also, if you're interested in booking a personal, all my information is down below. If you'd like to leave a tip or donation, because this is my only source of income and it's greatly appreciated as well. That information is down below. Don't forget to go check out my other channel, Everything Pisces over there. And that's for everybody, whether you're Pisces or not. It's a message over there for you as well. So go on over there and check that out. The link is below. So until next time, guys, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Mwah! Bye, my fire babies.